Talk at Pa Freeze. Official respect. Well, ten, ten minutes in the bin for Clemmer. Is that where, that's not where the ball landed. No, it no. landed. It landed, I thought, more ten metres off centre. The ball never landed there. The ball is there. Oh, my God! James, James, did you James? Oh, it's a field goal. Let's have a look here. But the ball landed out near the 20 metre line. It, it, there. It, there it is. There it's landed 21 metres in from touch on the eastern I side. I heard the referee say because it was a field goal. Well, that's obviously the case. I mean, this is the number one referee in the game. Mm. Oh, look at that. South Sydney are going to win. Saying, look yep. here, I've hurt this kid. Yep. But can you be penalised for dangerous contact, even right. if it's James, accidental? I think James, you can. Is that penalty? OK. The, it's dangerous contact. Why? The contact's on... Why? The contact, James. Why? The contact... Lost his temper, but Deb... Why? The contact... Why? The contact... Why? The contact... James. Now, what's happening on the field? The microscope certainly is on Captain James Graham, who uh, sprayed the referee in that match. He has to wait until tomorrow to see if he is cited by the match review committee. But we did speak to Brad Fittler earlier today, and he said, regardless, it's a bad look for the game. Captains and players just have to be so careful and understand the ramifications on, you know, on how they're perceived by young kids and... and consequences of, of poor behaviour like James Graham. Now while James Graham does admit that his behaviour was out of order, he does not concede that he ever lost his temper. But Deb, worryingly for Graham, if he is charged and convicted of a contrary conduct charge, he may well sit out five games on the sideline. All right. Why? Contact. Why? Contact. Now, while James Graham does admit that his behaviour was out of order, he does not concede that he ever lost his temper. But Deb, why? The contact, why? The contact's on report. No. And the, contact, why? the contact's on report. No. And because it's a field goal. Drop goal. Yeah. Well, the goal kicker is limping up here. The decision is made. Why? The contact. When he gets to the football. Why? The contact. Well, the goal kicker is limping up here. The decision is made. Yes. And now he's a walk right. back. I think Goodwin's going to. James. Well, the goal kicker is limping up here. The decision is made. Yes. Now need to walk right. back. I think Goodwin's going to take the shot. Bryson Goodwin. Well, you can throw it over from where they've ruled the penalty. Swan will have to check the rule book here about if you're attempting a field goal, it changes where the penalty is given. Well, that's obviously the case. I mean, this is the number one referee in the game. The Bulldogs players aren't even retiring 10 metres here. They're all up around the ball. They can't believe it. Yep. So Goodwin takes the two points. Short restart coming up. So Souths lead 18... Trying to get to the football. Lead 18-17 with one and a quarter to go. You've got to wait. Get to the football. Get to the football. Get to the football. Well, there's only play to yeah. say I've hurt this kid. Yes, so is. this comes down to where the ball landed. It's a penalty here, James. Go. Trying to get to the football. Why? The contact ball landed. It's a penalty here, James. Go. Well, ten, ten minutes in the bin for Clemmer. Is that where, that's not where the ball landed. No, it no. landed. Brett Morris. The siren has sounded. The players have shaken hands. The coaches are heading for the sheds. South winning 18-17. Here's the news. Why? Contact. The Bulldogs and the Rabbitohs have fought out a brutal grand final rematch at ANZ Stadium. Cameron Williams joins us now. And Cam, you've got some breaking news on this too. We do, Deb. This got terribly ugly out there this afternoon. The furious fans have committed one of the most disgraceful incidents we've seen in recent years at ANZ Stadium. And Tim Gilbert is there. Tim, take us through what happened when the referees left the field. Yeah, it's so disappointing, Cameron, after seeing such a dramatic and wonderful game of footy, over 40,000 fans, just the one point in it, and this all stemmed from a controversial penalty that South Sydney got after James Graham went to try and 
tackle, Adam Reynolds attack his feet, whichever way you want to define it. They got the goal. They win the game. The Bulldogs fans not happy. Now, if you come at back, come back to me, you'll see all these bottles on the ground. And these bottles haven't been from people just walking across the field. These were bottles actually thrown as missiles from people in the stands. Now, I've already spoken to Raylene, who, of course, is the boss of the Canterbury Bulldogs, and they'll be already opening up an inquiry and looking for vision to find those people. We have had one of the officials, Gavin Morris, struck by one of the bottles. Also, another official that I spoke to got hit and he was sick, getting medical attention. He got hit, he slipped and did his shoulder. So you can see all these bottles. A lot of them aren't empty. Many of them are full. One flew past my ear about that far away from my ear. So absolutely disgraceful, disgraceful scenes here at the end of what has been a wonderful game of rugby league and we haven't heard the last of it. Yes, uh, it's terrible to see that referee fell there. Thank you, Tim. And uh, it was a controversial match in so many other ways, Deb. We'll have a full match report and the rest of the sport coming up. All right, Cam, we'll see you soon. Twice! The contact reports that there's been a coward punch incident mm. with someone badly hurt outside the stadium. Twice! The contact to get to the football. In the furious fans have committed one of the most disgraceful incidents we've seen in recent years at ANZ Stadium. And Tim Gilbert is there. Tim, take us through what happened when the referees left the field. Yeah, it's so disappointing, Cameron, after seeing such a dramatic and wonderful game of footy, over 40,000 fans. Just the one point in it, and this all stemmed from a controversial penalty that South Sydney got after James Graham went to try and tackle Adam Reynolds, attack his feet, whichever way you want to define it. They got the goal. They win the game. The Bulldogs fans not happy. Now, if you come, at back, come back to me, you'll see all these bottles on the ground. And these bottles haven't been from people just walking across the field. These were bottles actually thrown as missiles from people in the stands. Now, I've already spoken to Raylene, who, of course, is the boss of the Canterbury Bulldogs, and they'll be already opening up an inquiry and looking for vision to find those people. We have had one of the officials, Gavin Morris, struck by one of the bottles. Also, another official that I spoke to got hit and he was sick, getting medical attention. He got hit, he slipped and did his shoulder. So you can see all these bottles. A lot of them aren't empty. Many of them are full. One flew past my ear about that far away from my ear. So absolutely disgraceful, disgraceful scenes here at the end of what has been a wonderful game of rugby league and we haven't heard the last of it. Yes, uh, it's terrible to see that referee fell there. Thank you, Tim. And uh, it was a controversial match. In Had one of the officials, Gavin Morris, struck by one of the bottles. Also, another official that I spoke to got hit and he was sick, getting medical attention. He got hit, he slipped and did his shoulder. So you can see all these bottles. A lot of them aren't empty. Many of them are full. One flew past my ear about that far away from my ear. So absolutely disgraceful, disgraceful scenes here. Twice! The contact reports that there's been a coward punch incident mm. with someone badly hurt outside the stadium. Hit and he was sick, getting medical attention. He got hit, he slipped and did his shoulder. So you can see all these bottles. A lot of them aren't empty. Many of them are full. One flew past my ear about that far away from my ear. So absolutely disgraceful, disgraceful scenes here at the end of what has been a wonderful game of rugby league and we haven't heard the last of it. Twice! The contact rugby league and we haven't heard the last of it. Twice! The contact. Yes, sir. Uh... Twice! The contact's on report. No. And Bryson Goodwin calmly slaughtered the winning penalty. There was nothing calm about the Bulldogs' reaction. Twice! The contact. Who suffered another blow on full time. Brett Morris injuring his hamstring. <laughs> Brett Morris has cleaned it up. But that was just the beginning of the drama. Just the beginning of the drama as fans ruined an otherwise enthralling contest. Danica Mason, Nine News. Uh, there was a massive fallout from last night's win for the Rabbitohs against the Bulldogs at ANZ Stadium. A number of fans throwing bottles at the match officials and it didn't end well. Um, here's some of the scenes here. This was the penalty that uh, led to the incident. Uh, the Rabbitohs winning by a point and Dave Clemmer and James Graham not happy at all. That then overflowed into the stands as you can see here and one match official was taken to hospital with a crack in his scapula, a broken shoulder, basically. Um, it's not good, is it? For the, for the Bulldogs themselves, and I'll get to Dave Smith in a moment, for the Bulldogs themselves, what do they need to do to bring their club back into a good culture? Oh, I mean, whoever, whoever were the culprits, they've got to get rid of, ban them for life. I mean, I, I spoke about it earlier, it's a disgrace. You can't have fans treating the officials like that. I, not only the officials, but there's ball boys that are on the sidelines there. You know, there's, there's older 
Uh, there's mascots. Uh, there's older officials that are down there too on the sidelines. And it's just, I just can't believe it happened, to be honest. I'm still in shock about it. And it's, uh, you know, obviously they've, got to, they've just got to eradicate whoever, whoever they were, get them out, see you later, never to be back to, into any NRL game ever again. Mm. Press release from Dave Smith, CEO of the NRL, obviously came out earlier today and he said he'll be working with the police ANZ Stadium and the Bulldogs to carefully review all matters regarding fan behaviour. So there you go, this talk of players, uh, crowd being banned, never to be uh, members again, all of those sorts of things and hopefully it will happen. Uh, there was a tweet you mentioned earlier, Braith, that um, there was talk about the bottles coming from uh, Canterbury members. But a lot of people go in there to see the players and obviously, unfortunately, in this incident, I think a lot of people have gone to abuse the mm. refs. All right. That, the behaviour of the fans is one thing, but the behaviour of the players is another mm, yeah. really huge talking point. And after all the drama, Des Hasler could be missing six of his players next weekend. If we have a look at the list now, James Graham likely to be charged, as well as David Clemmer, quite possibly, for dissent towards the refs. Yeah. Then there's Josh Morris, Sam Castiano, who were obviously involved in a bad contact on Isaac Luke. There were also injuries to Brett Morris and Tim Laffey. Let's talk about player behaviour, boys, and descent towards the referees. Yeah. Is it high time, Bray, that yeah. this is stamped out of our game and that players are not allowed to speak to officials like this anymore? I think James Graham is going to learn a harsh lesson, lesson from last night. Play! He's tenacious. He's a winner or cost player. Play! He's an unbelievable leader on the field. and Players look up to him. They want to play with him. But you can't physically intimidate the referees, and I think he overstepped the mark last night. Um, the, the call from referees was the right call, even though. But you can't treat the referees like that. You need to show respect. I've, I've tested it. I've tested it in the past myself as a captain. I mean, I've take, I've gone up to referees, but I've never seen someone go at a referee like he did last night, and, and physically, I think, intimidate them. And you just can't do that. He set a bad example for the players and for young kids as well. And we've got to eradicate that from the game. And especially that was the second time. I thought the referee handled it really well when he came at him over the Cassiano incident. Mm. When mm. he came out at him kind of in his face. And then up at the other end, and Clemmer as well, that's just not good enough. But... Well, Dave Smith in that statement said it's not just the off-field dramas that the NRL are going to come down hard on. They're going to look at all this on-field stuff that's gone on because it's a terrible look mm. for the game. All right, the fallout we mentioned from this game continued and it has continued till late tonight. This is the latest. South Wooker Isaac Luke, he's in some strife for a homophobic slur that he's made on social media. Now, Luke got into a heated exchange with a Bulldog fan on his Instagram account making a homophobic comment, which has since been deleted but not before the NRL Integrity Unit was informed. They are now investigating. Uh, we saw how Rugby Union dealt with this and they handed out a fine recently. This is Isaac Luke's response fairly soon afterwards. He has apologised, uh, boys, uh, but I think this is going to be another e extra act and scene to follow from what's happened mm. yeah, yesterday, yeah. unfortunately, and we're going to hear more about this in the days well, to come. Everyone's emotional. ...that there's been a coward punch incident mm. with someone badly hurt outside the stadium. At all? Mm. Um, he actually put the thing on Instagram to reach out to the South fan was that was try. injured last night and some fans interacted with him in a negative way and he retaliated with, uh, with this remark. That's right. And I, I'm not defending it. It's, yeah. uh, it's in a public <laughs> space. I think you're right. Heat of the moment. ...reports that there's been a coward punch incident mm. with someone badly hurt outside the stadium. I yeah, look, so. I just think yeah, um, he's trying to do the right thing and helping some young people... Not that that makes the incident better, but he's, I think the process has got to happen and the NRL will do what they have to do. He's already apologised mm. and you move on. All right, let's have a look at the ladder, boys. There's so much we could talk about. We could talk about this forever. <laughs> yeah. You know, you said we're going to be talking about that forever. Yeah. We're definitely going to be talking about that for the rest of the week, yeah. at least. Yeah. Stay with us, though, because straight after the break, your questions from SS Full Time. Stay with us. Thank you for watching. As we finish off tonight, it's over to the dog's vent line. My name is Adam, and I think that Friday night's loss was just because the ref is a <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't believe it, mate. I tell you, if that was a penalty, then I'm a bloody potato. I'm a potato <laughs> with the garden. <laughs> Suck it up, Bulldogs, you've lost. It's a penalty every day of the week. James Graham, pull your head in. 
David Clemmer, you're a moron. Bulldogs got exactly what they deserved. Cop that. Good night, everyone. Good night.